After two years and $22 million of renovations, SUNY Oswego's Tyler Hall has reopened its doors once again. The School of Communication, Media and the Arts held a red carpet launch titled Tyler Hall Take Two, where alumni, faculty and students were invited to tour Tyler's updated gallery spaces, rehearsal rooms and state-of-the-art Waterman Theatre. Uh, I'm just so excited to be here. I went to see The Wizard of Oz last night, a spectacular performance. So it's, it's really a home run. It's beautiful here. I really like it. There's great technological capabilities in the theatre, so I'm excited to play around with that, see what we can do. Since first opening its doors to students and the community as Sunyo Spigo's first exclusive art space in 1968, Tyler Hall has become an arts hub for artists and art lovers alike. It's been fun to walk around all day and sort of imagine the old building and then celebrate the new. It's, uh, the facility is amazing. The gallery was very outdated and needed updating. Um, and there, it just it needed a lot of work and um, when we came back to it all of that and more was done and it's, it's a great place to show artwork now. Amidst those walking the Tyler red carpet were President Stanley and Dean of the College of Communication, Media and the Arts, Julie Pretzat. And to see it finally completed is it, just spectacular. We're going to bring in lots of people and state of the art is really wonderful in the arts because we know that we can offer the best experience in this building. Among the variety of upcoming events being held at the updated facility, Oswego Opera will be performing Mozart's The Marriage of Figaro at the Waterman Theatre on November 13th. Lindsay Martin, WTOP10 News.